Prepare for an exclusive glimpse into China's formidable 13,000 T-Type 055 Super Destroyer. The DDG-105, affectionately dubbed the Darien after one of China's prominent naval shipbuilding cities. This captivating footage is sourced from the CCTV Military News Channel, enhanced with my insightful commentary to provide you with a comprehensive understanding. Settle in and immerse yourself in the world of advanced naval technology. The sheer scale of the vessel became evident. Rising from the pier side like a formidable fortress, the deck stood tall, towering over onlookers, measuring about three stories high. This grandeur was not just for show, it served a crucial purpose, accommodating the vertical launching system, living quarters, command centers, and propulsion mechanisms essential for the ship's operations. Commissioned on the 23rd of April 2021 at the Sea Naval Base in the Haiyan Province, the DDG-105 Dalion exemplified China's naval prowess. Situated in the island province, which, aside from Taiwan, stood as the sole island territory under Chinese control, the significance of this vessel could not be overstated. As the reporter stepped aboard, the cleanliness of the passageways aboard the Dalion struck them immediately. Gleaming surfaces reflected light, creating an aura of precision and efficiency. However, amid the polish, a complaint surfaced about the steep and narrow stairways, a reminder of the inherent challenges of naval life. Indeed, cramped conditions were a commonality across naval vessels, where maximizing space efficiency was paramount. Guided to the guest room, designated for important passengers, the absence of windows was notable. This absence wasn't an oversight, but a deliberate design choice. Throughout the ship, windows were a rarity, save for the bridge and superstructure. This design philosophy aimed at maintaining complete enclosure within the vessel, a crucial element for reducing radar signatures and achieving stealth capabilities. Such measures were imperative for evading detection, especially when operating within range of enemy radar. In essence, the Type 055 destroyer stood not only as a symbol of China's technological advancement, but also as a testament to meticulous engineering aimed at achieving tactical superiority on the high seas. The quest for stealth in modern warship design has resulted in a stark absence of windows across most sections of vessels, with only the bridge offering a glimpse of the maritime surroundings. However, this lack of windows doesn't equate to a lack of ventilation or natural light within the living quarters. Despite the enclosed nature of these spaces, they are fully ventilated to ensure a constant flow of fresh air, maintaining optimal living conditions for the crew. An interesting aspect of life aboard the Type 055 destroyer, exemplified by the DDG-105 Dalian, is the synchronization of time across the ship. Clocks positioned throughout the vessel display precisely the same time fostering a shared understanding among sailors and facilitating coordination. This synchronized timekeeping plays a crucial role in enhancing efficiency and operational effectiveness, ensuring seamless communication and task execution among the crew. Sailors serving on the Type 055 destroyer highlight several advantages of their experience. Firstly, the vessel's size grants it remarkable stability while traversing the open seas significantly reducing the occurrence of seasickness among the crew. Contrary to initial apprehensions, sailors find themselves adapting well to life aboard the Dalian, aided by its superior habitability compared to other People's Liberation Army Navy, Pilan, warships. Spacious cabins and wider berths allow sailors to maintain a sense of comfort, particularly during extended deployments in distant waters. During the reporter's exploration of the vessel, they encounter an engineering team diligently engaged in the routine maintenance of the ship's main gun, the 130mm HPJ-45 naval gun. A fully automated system oversees every aspect of firing the gun, from retrieving ammunition from the magazine to shell loading, rotation, elevation adjustments, and ultimately, firing. The complexity of the mechanical elements involved necessitates rigorous maintenance procedures, ensuring the weapon's readiness for live fire exercises conducted on the high seas. In essence, life aboard the Type 055 destroyer offers a blend of technological sophistication, comfort, and operational efficiency. From synchronized timekeeping to advanced weapon systems, every aspect of the vessel is meticulously designed to uphold the plan's mission readiness and maritime superiority. 
Amidst the voyage, the anticipation mounts as the DDG-105 Dalian prepares for a series of exercises, with the live firing of the 130mm cannon topping the list of eagerly awaited drills. As the footage reveals, red inflatable bows bobbing in the sea serve as the targets for this exercise, each measuring a mere 3 meters in diameter. While appearing sizable up close, their diminutive stature becomes apparent when viewed from the firing distance, akin to specks in the vast expanse of the ocean. Despite their small size, these targets pose a significant challenge for the naval gunners. The objective isn't merely to strike the bows directly, but to aim for a target's radius around them. Each successful hit within this vicinity registers as a her, marking proficiency in target engagement. Conversely, shots falling wide of the mark are noted as misses, reflecting the precision demanded in naval operations. As the sailors deploy the red bows amidst adverse conditions, rough seas and reduced visibility, the challenge intensifies. Yet, these conditions offer a glimpse into the gun's capabilities under duress. Undeterred by the unfavorable environment, the gunners commence firing, showcasing the remarkable rate of fire characteristic of large-caliber naval guns. With each deafening blast, the ship reverberates, necessitating the use of sound mufflers to safeguard against hearing damage. Despite the tumultuous conditions, the gunners maintain their focus, ensuring every shot counts. A total of 12 rounds are discharged, each punctuating the air with a promise of precision and firepower. Upon retrieval of the red bows, the results speak volumes of the gunnery team's proficiency. Of the 12 rounds fired, an astonishing 11 found their mark, a testament to precision and skill. In a real combat scenario, such accuracy would spell devastation for an enemy warship, likely resulting in severe damage or sinking. The live firing exercise culminates in resounding success, affirming the Dalian's combat readiness and the effectiveness of its weaponry. In the face of adverse conditions, the gunner's precision shines through, underscoring the vessel's capability to execute its mission with lethal accuracy. The Type 055 destroyer stands as the pinnacle of surface combatant capability within the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy PLA. With a displacement of 13,000 tons at full load, it ranks among the largest destroyer classes globally, second only to the U.S. Navy's Zumwalt class. Armed with a formidable array of missiles, including the YJ-18 and YJ-21, as well as long-range air defense systems, the Type 055 packs a substantial punch, capable of engaging adversaries at extended distances. One of the most striking features of the Type 055 is its 130mm naval gun showcased in action in recent footage. Complementing this primary armament are 11-barreled close-in weapon systems and torpedo armament, ensuring lethality both at long and close ranges, including against underwater targets. This versatility grants the Type 055 a strategic edge in diverse combat scenarios, bolstering China's naval capabilities significantly. Introduced into service with the PLA Navy only four years ago, starting with the commissioning of the DDG-101 Nang in January 2020, the Type 055 has rapidly established itself as a cornerstone of China's naval force projection. The launch of the Nang on June 28, 2017 marked a significant milestone, celebrated with grandeur at the Jiangnan shipyard. Since then, the pace of production has been impressive, with eight vessels delivered between June 2017 and August 2020. As the PLA Navy continues to expand its fleet capabilities, the ongoing construction of Type 055 destroyers remains a focal point of attention. With new ships under construction at both the Jiangnan Shipyard in Shanghai and the Dalian Shipyard in the Northeast, the Chinese naval arsenal is poised for further enhancement. The meticulous analysis of these ongoing construction efforts provides valuable insights into the evolving dynamics of maritime warfare, shaping the strategic landscape in the Indo-Pacific region and beyond. For a detailed examination of the ongoing construction of Type 055 destroyers, viewers are directed to the accompanying video, offering comprehensive insights into this critical aspect of China's naval modernization efforts. As the PLA Navy continues to assert its presence on the global stage, the Type 055 destroyer stands as a testament to China's growing maritime prowess and its strategic ambitions in the 21st century. And that was it. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button.